I tell you what, Henry, I'm going to win a reputation before I leave the world. That is, unless I die very soon. What do you mean by a reputation? Why, a big name, of course. Washington, Franklin, Lincoln, Garfield. And all of the rich people had reputations. You do something wonderful and you are talked about and get a reputation. That's what I mean. Hello, boys. What's up? I suppose George is telling about the old Greek and Roman heroes. That's his theme, eh? Not exactly. He wants to be a modern hero. At all events, he wants a reputation to be talked about when he is dead and gone, gone, gone. Now I think that the men who have done the most good in this world have had little said about them. That's a good deal. So there is our minister... He is a very good man, always helping some poor person, yet nobody talks. But you forgot Joan Howard, you forgot Joan Howard. The word will never get through talking about him. Oh, what are you arguing about so soberly? I should think this was a courtroom and you were the lawyers. I'll tell you. What it, it's all about, we are debating whether a boy ought to try to get a reputation. Yeah. George said, he had said, Henry says that men with reputations are not any happier than those without. I think the right way to do is your best, and if you get a reputation well, that's good. And if not, well, you're just well off too. The men who had left reputations were not some very good men. There was, for instance, Nap, I mean Nap. Napoleon and Caesar and Alexander nothing but big fighters I wouldn't want that kind of reputation I wouldn't want it either I mean a reputation like Washington Washington did not aim at a reputation he only tried to serve his country I read the other day that he said he was only happy when on a phone at Mount Vernon. Grant, too, said he was never so happy as when he was handling wood to support his fork family. There comes Mr. Alford. Let us ask his opinion. What is the discussion? I was saying that a reputation is worth working for. But those who work for what it is always getting don't always get it. What is reputation anyway? It is being talked about. There is Sullivan, the prize fighter. He is talked about a great, great deal. Oh, I don't want that kind of reputation. I want something or oh, something too. that's great and good. The man who lifts most in a circus is talked about, and the bearded lady at the dime museums. When I was a boy, I heard of a man who could ride two horses, and so much was said about him, I imagined he was a greater man than the president. Last summer, a lady at the hotel wore so many diamonds that everyone talked about her. Yes, those are the people who do the about the they talked about, and they have one kind of dude about the reputation. That's the name for this one kind, it's notoriety. It's the lower order of the reputation. Dates and diamonds don't mix up the other kind. I didn't mean about that with the noble kind of reputation. This is called fame as a skinny bop and George put a reputation for something. A skinny bop and George. And that's yeah. great. And the only way to do this is to do something good, do something great. And Wait. even if the reputation makes <laughs> sense with the reputation, to not come here down, go, it would be something else. Something oh, better, go, something gained. It'd be a happy, happy heart. heart. Some people who deserve the fame are never heard from. It's killing by the Bible, Bible, just as happy. Perhaps even half, half, half. I mean, the half, half, half. I mean, the half, half, half here. Happier. There is the school bell. Why is it breaking? <laughs>